it sure is hot. Get a glass of water. Wait, wait, don't drink that. It's contaminated. What'd you say? You haven't heard? All the water's contaminated. No, I haven't heard that. Now, what do I do now? So today, what I want to talk to you about is the Slim Pure Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System. This thing is pretty cool. All right, it does filter out and does the reverse osmosis and everything else. We're going to show you how it works. I'm going to go over the basics of it and we're going to test the water. We're going to test it with my test kit here compared to tap water, compared to what's coming out of here. So let's get going on this video so we can see how this actually works. All right, as you can see, this thing has a very long cord. It makes it really nice because you could plug this in from a long way. It is a 30 watt machine. You do need power to run it, but you could also run it off your battery bank. This is your storage compartment. Holds a little over a gallon or so of water, almost two gallons. And you just take this right off. You bring it over to the sink and you fill it. Pretty simple. Just fill it up with cold water. I'm going to come back over here. I want to show you. As you can see, it says change water. Pure water system. You can see you have your, your buttons at the top. I'm going to show you, show you how those work. Come back around here. This is our filter system. This is your two different filters. Reverse osmosis and your carbo. And this little piece here just come with the shipping. Uh, to keep it all uh, really nice and snug. The shipping on this is really great. To remove these, it's very simple. Just turn them right to the left just a little bit. They unscrew, they pop off. You can pop them right back on. This filter here, I'm just taking off and putting on right now. Costs you about $25. And the reverse osmosis one will cost you about 35 and change. I mean, it's a really good two system, uh, two filter system and you know, you're good to go. So as you can see here, putting on the water canister, it only goes on one way. So you have to make sure that you just line it up and it pops right in. Push the handle down, close the lid, and it takes off doing everything itself. And as you can see here, it starts sucking all the water in. You start seeing all these bubbles and everything. That means it's working, folks. It's alive and well. It's sitting there and... We have to get ready to start flushing the system out as it is going through its standard procedure of purifying the water we're about to drink. As you can see, it looks like a fish tank. And it is working. And we'll have clean drinking water real soon after we flush. After you flush this, this is the fourth time. When you flush it, you hit this button over here. It says flushing right up here. And you hit this, and now it's flushing out the tank. Now you do this, when you first get it, you do it four times. And if you change your filter system, you have to do it four times then. I'm gonna show you. How much we're gonna end up with when that's in this tank. So we're going to go four cups in this first one right here. Because this purges the whole tank that is inside in here. The clean, fresh water. And we're almost up to four cups. Like I said, you do this four times when you switch your filters or when you first get the machine. All right, there's four cups. We'll start letting that fill up. We'll pour that out in the sink. And it's gonna be a little bit more than this.
Now it's flushing out the whole reservoir there of the fresh drinking water that's been reverse emulsion and it's ready to go. Should be just about done. Just about done. She's done. Let's see what the end result is. Let's bring you around here so you all can see right down in here. So the first one was four. And you can see we're at seven and three quarters cups because this is three and three quarters it's right there at that line so this tank holds roughly seven and three quarters cups of water just so everybody knows that it does make a small sound I don't know if you all can hear that I mean you can barely hear the thing it's very quiet and everything else Okay, so now that we've seen how the machine works, we flushed it all out and everything else is good to go. Now we're gonna do a test. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this 16 in one water test, as you can see right here. And we're gonna test the tap water and we're also gonna be testing what's coming out of my refrigerator through that filter system. And then we're gonna be testing out the Sl Slim Pure and seeing how they all compare. So, here we go. Okay, here we go with the sink tap water. Roll us up a cup. Take our strip, insert in the cup, count to three. One, two, three. Pull strip out. Shake off the water. Let's put it on the box and see what we get. Line it up. So this is what's in my water right now. Let's see here. Iron. There's hardly any. Zero. All right. Chlorine is probably about three. Total hardness is about 25. Uh, lead, about 20. This is city water, folks. Uh, nitrate, zero. Total chlorine. Look at that, folks. Can you see that? Total chlorine. Total chlorine is right on a five, so it's high. Fluoride is, well, about zero. Acid is about zero. So as you can see, the pH is about 6.4. Carbonate is, well, that's right on the verge of 40. It's changing colors. So that's that. Now let's do the refrigerator. Now to make this fair, I am using a different container. So we'll fill this up. This is coming right out of my refrigerator here through the water filter system that's in the refrigerator. And let's see what we get out of here. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's see what we get. Stick it in the water. Count to three. One, two, three. All right, pull it off. Get the excess water off. Lay it down on our box. And as you can see, See our readings there. Somewhat better. No chlorine, no iron. So it took all the chlorine out. Nitrate, it, that's at pretty much out. MPS, that's pretty much out. Fluoride, that's still zero. Yeah, it canceled just about everything out. All right, now let's move on to the next test. We're gonna be testing this here. Sure. Hey folks, as you can see, we have a uh, 
have our water and here we go Let's stick our strip in one two three Wow people can you see that that's amazing it just cut everything down everything is down to zero uh, zero the hardness is gone uh, the chlorine's gone everything now what I want to do is if I can do this this is a reverse osmosis that one is a refrigerator and that one comes out of the sink I don't know if you all can see that very difficult to do without losing one like that but you get the point the reverse osmosis actually is a 10 times better so let's wrap this up so here's my thoughts on this impure uh, countertop water filtration system reverse osmosis all right it does has a large water feed tank at 1.3 gallons all right the internal tank is uh 0.45 gallons as you did see it equaled out to almost eight cups it does come with the two filters like i did say in the video you know if you wanted to change those if you had to change them out every six months uh one is about 25 the other one's 35 right in that area really not that bad um this piece of equipment does meet effectively a removing 99.99% uh, of contaminants, including, you know, your viruses, bacteria, chemicals, heavy metal, uh, TDSs, and etc. You can go on to the webpage. It's listed below in the description. And you can also pull up the uh, test that was done and is public knowledge if you want to see exactly what it does do. It is a very, very great uh, piece of equipment. Um, it's very easy to use. Uh, like I said, it's a 30 watt system. The pros and cons on this, uh, the only con that I really can find is the fact that is, you know, you got to plug it in and you have to have power. So if you're out of power, you don't have any way to run it. Well, you can't use it, but it will run off the battery bank. It's only 30 watts. So it can run off a small battery bank and still purify your water in case you're under a boiled water or contaminated water or whatever else. Um, you know, I mean, you can have clean purified water at your disposal. That's the only really con that I can really find with this product. It's a great product. The water tastes good. Um, it did very well on the tests uh, using the strips there, comparing it to the other three. Uh, between the sink, the refrigerator, and just regular bottled water. Uh, bottled water and the Simpure are pretty pretty close, but uh, the Simpure did eke out on, on the test. Uh, the pros, I mean, you can, this is portable. I mean, you can take it with you anywhere. I mean, if you're going on a camping trip, if you have an RV, if you have any of these things, you can take it with you. If you've got a battery bank, you can have fresh, clean water. You could go over and get water out of a stream and put it in there now i'm not saying i would go out and take this and put it through a rigorous test as far as uh taking the muddiest murkiest water i can find and pouring in there and see what i get it may do just fine with the two filter system and reverse osmosis i mean it's a test that maybe we should really think about doing but in the end you know i mean overall for the amount of money and with the availability it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty nice machine uh some people want to compare this to like the big berkey because it doesn't have to have power and it just filters down through and they are very expensive and their filters are very expensive uh these here i, I thought these were pretty reasonable compared to uh other ones that i have seen especially in the big berkey they are more expensive um, I'd love to have a big Berkey to compare the two and then see what I do get uh, doing a water test and stuff and seeing how long the filters and stuff really work and you know last uh, that would be a very interesting thing uh, so maybe there is more to do on this but for right now as far as I'm concerned this Simpure is very nice very well built uh, it comes packed very well 
and I think that you'd be very, very happy to have one of these in your home. Links and everything are in the description below for all the information that you do need to know. And I hope you all have a good day. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Think about getting this Impure. It could be a lifesaver. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.